Greetings and salutations, Geo Nerds. I bet you're wondering what this 36 foot long Cretaceous aquatic dinosaur with nasty big sharp teeth is. And these awesome Aussies out there doing it hard in the outback in the heat and the flies. And this thumping great big drill rig. Hang around, you'll find out. We're going to have a look at a reasonably unexplored section of the Galilee Basin. So we're 330 k's again above Brisbane, the height of Electric Jesus's Starlink satellite, and we're cruising out to the uh, Queensland uh, outback, which really is the outback. This is a massive sedimentary plain here. This is a little town called Richmond. Uh, when I say little town, I mean little town. That river there is the Flinders River, a tremendously important river for North Queensland, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. And here's Richmond, we'll just have a quick fly through, won't take long, down the main street, there we go. And uh, what I thought I'd do is we'll pull back uh, across these plains to show you there is, these are sedimentary plains, they call them oceans of grass, and they truly are. Uh, these are Cretaceous rocks under here, we'll have a look at that in a minute, but we've got to pull back like 300 kilometers to here before we start seeing the mineralized sedimentary formations and there's Mount Isa down there that's 400 kilometers back now let's have a look at the geology so here we have another beautiful looking map everything you see here is sedimentary rock and pretty much everything you see is Cretaceous there's some Permian stuff underneath it but this is Cretaceous and uh, here's a, a close-up of Richmond. You can see the two rivers there, the Dutton River and the Flinders River. And being Cretaceous and sedimentary, you know it's going to have something in it. Fossils. And uh, we're going to get to that now. Well, folks, this is the uh, watershed of the Flinders River. It's huge. It covers a great deal of North Queensland. And it's a very important river to North Queensland. Uh, and it flows down right down to the Gulf of Corumba. And this whole area is called the Galilee Basin, as you can see here. And what do you reckon's in the Galilee area? Well, there's fossils, so there's, you know, coal and other types of fossil fuels. It has been explored for uh, the coal. The coal in this area is Permian, so it's quite a way down. So uh, this is a map of what they've done so far with the availability of uh, Permian gas capture in the uh, Basin. Notice they haven't done the bit between Ewenden and Julia Creek yet, but you know it's coming. So yeah, you know they're going to be. There's the drill rigs and the guys in the high vis. They're going to be drilling because in the future they're going to want to frack this place and get that gas out. Now in country like this, mm, we've got artesian water under this. Yeah, I don't know. Would I do it? No. Should it be done? Not my decision. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the history of this place, because it is quite interesting. Well, folks, Richmond's got a population of about 650, depending how many cars are driving through it at the time. Uh, it was once part of Australia's vast inland sea back in the Cretaceous area, as we talked about before, 65 million years ago. And Richmond's nowadays is very well known for its marine fossil discoveries. We'll talk more about that too. It's about 500 k's from Townsville, and about 400 k's from Mount Isa. So if you're driving that run, it's not a bad spot to uh, have a toilet break and grab a drink at the servo. Good servo there. Um, it was first recorded by William Lansborough, who camped at the site that would become the town of Richmond in 1862. He was out looking for Burke and Wills, who were still lost and by then long dead, but anyway. The town was originally known as Richmond Downs, it was named after a nearby station, and that was named after the Richmond River in New South Wales because one of the blokes actually came from there. Then in 1880, gold was found at Woolgar to the north. We'll talk more about that very soon. In May 1899, the name was changed from Richmond Down to Richmond, and the Great Northern Railway arrived in 1904. So, you know, that was it. Nothing's changed since then. A few coats of paint, that's about it. No, that's not true. It's a great little town. I've driven through it many times, stopped there a few times to get fuel, but it's, I don't know anyone who comes from Richmond, so anyway. But uh, actually I was driving up there once and uh, on my way from um, 
Charleville. And uh, we were uh, just pulled up on the side of the road by a copper. And he said to me, he said, uh, where do you come from? I said, Boondall. He said, where are you going? I said, Blackall. He said, what's in your back of your car? I said, nothing. Well, folks, here's a satellite map of the area, and here's Richmond down here, and up top I've, uh, I've uh, put a uh, ring around Woolgar. Now, gold was found there in 1880. It's about 80 kilometres north of Richmond, but Richmond was the main supply area. These are the gold fields, and you can see all the different mines that are marked on this one. There's probably more. Uh, miners are not particularly good at filling out forms, and uh, they don't want to. And uh, here's a, a slightly more modern view of the actual Woolgar area, and you can see the... Uh, all the different roads there. There was more infrastructure there, obviously, in the past. And uh, yeah, there was quite a few people up there, of course, they were mining, and uh, here's a photo of the guys, some of the guys, obviously, and girls would have been up there. It's tough country, really tough country. Uh, but the mining went on there for about 20 years or so. Who knows how much gold came out of it? Again, they're not good at filling out forms. This is what the country looks like. You know, take the trees away, that's Mars. And uh, yeah, it's tough country. You gotta be tough people to live there. But unfortunately, Woolgar is also famous for another thing, another Aboriginal massacre in Queensland. So, uh, in, um, in 1884, uh, some of the local settlers and gold miners complained about these, these black people causing them problems. And uh, if you wouldn't mind just uh, coming along uh, and getting rid of them for them. So, Sub-Inspector SI, as they were called, Henry Kay of the Native Mounted Police, grabbed a few constables and uh, went over there and uh, rounded up the uh, offending people and started hoofing them out of town. And one of them grabbed a spear and killed him. So of course, that was never gonna end well for those people. So nobody knows how many people were murdered in retaliation for Inspector Kay's death, but uh, a lot would probably be the correct answer. There was somewhere between 50 and 70 natives in the area at the time. Aboriginal people and uh, no one knows how many died although there are skeletons that have been found in archaeological digs that uh, show signs of uh, uh, bullet wounds so yeah but they don't know they just don't know so um, enough of the history let's have a look at some dinosaurs I suppose that is history but anyway very ancient history well, folks, here we have a map of the sedimentary basins in Australia. And so you can see the red ones, that's what we're interested in. They're the Cretaceous ones. Richmond's right in the middle of that. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, about 100 million years will get you there. This is uh, what the basins looked like when Australia was still part of Gondwana. And the type of, because uh, it was an ocean, it was under the water. That's why there's different types of animals. And this is a fellow we're talking about, Cronosaur. Now our old mate, Mr. Cronus here, uh, was uh, named after the, uh, one of the Greek titans. But uh, he certainly wasn't on time. He's a type of pliosaur. Uh, in 1899, Andrew Crombie from Hewenden found a big scrap of bone with six teeth. Did the right thing, sent it down to the Queensland Museum and they didn't get around to it for a while. So 25 years later, in, in 1924, uh, they got around to identifying and naming it. So uh, yeah, there's now an awesome museum at Richmond, well worth going to see, it's very well done. Uh, not just about this particular dinosaur, but there are lots of dinosaurs found all through Western Queensland, as you can imagine, somewhere in some places, that uh, sediment is 300 meters thick, so it contains a lot of uh, fossils. Well worth a visit. Um, anyway, that's about it for this run. Uh, I've really enjoyed this. It, I thought it was gonna be boring, but T-Rox never is. You just keep digging till you find something interesting. Anyway, keep rocking. T-Rox out.